What up, you guys? I'm not magic here, and I got a nice little commentary for you guys. I just got back from vacation. Uh, we went up to the mountains, like I already told you guys about, but uh, I'm not feeling that well right now. I have a massive, massive sore throat. Keep your minds out of the gutters on that one. Um, but so just, just kind of imagine how difficult this commentary is for me to do. If my voice sounds weird or I'm not as, like, uh, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't even know, like, if I'm not as like happy seeming or something like that uh just kind of bear with me i have a cup of tea here that's actually almost gone which is kind of depressing but um so if you ever hear me just like pause for a second i'm probably taking a drink or something but <laughs> my throat hurts pretty bad which you know kind of sucks but i still want to bring you guys a commentary just because i haven't uploaded in a while so here you go uh so anyways the commentary i'm gonna be doing today is actually one i've actually been i said actually a lot right there so yeah Anyways, the commentary I'm doing today is one that I've actually been planning on doing for a while, and it is dedication. Um, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but I'm actually rolling up on my one-year anniversary on YouTube. It's in probably three months-ish, so I guess I'm not really rolling up on it. I think it's... Actually, I could check right now. I think it's like April or something. I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, it's coming up, and uh, I just thought that I would do like sort of a dedication video which does in turn tie in with all this YouTube stuff but I mean this isn't this is completely something you could like apply to your real life so um pretty much the way I'm gonna start this is I'm just gonna put it right out there and just say anything you do in your life is gonna take dedication any major thing you're gonna do is gonna take dedication whether it be learning how to surf snowboard skate I just sorry I have a corner of a surfboard snowboard and skateboard I was looking at it and those are the three things that came to my mind. But whether it be getting really good at Call of Duty, trying to be like an MLG pro, whether it be YouTube, whether it be basketball, whether it be school, whether, whether oh, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. But you, you guys get what I'm saying, right? But all of it takes dedication. It's not something where you can just hop on a surfboard and just, fuck, like, be a pro at it. Which actually, like, I made a commentary about this being naturally talented. Even being naturally talented at something, it still takes dedication. Like, you will not go through one thing in life where if you're not dedicated, you're going to succeed. It's not going to happen. Like, in real world, it just, it won't happen. So, I'm going to kind of apply this to YouTube, to a YouTube scenario. Uh, I've been doing this for a year. I don't even have a 1K subs yet, which, you know, like, I, like, it doesn't really bug me. It is something that I'm working towards, and eventually we'll get there. But, um, you know, I, I kept at it. I could have easily said, you know, fuck it, I don't want to do this anymore. This is taking too long. I don't want to like be doing this YouTube stuff. I'm not going to get known. I could have said that, but you know, I know that it takes dedication and I'm dedicated to this YouTube stuff. So, you know, if I wasn't dedicated, I would have been long gone. Trust me on that. But I stuck with it and I'm at 800 subs now. So, you know, I, I, I assume I'm only going to be getting better, only going to be getting more subs. Hopefully, hopefully my subs don't take like a massive decline and everyone unsubs me. But, you know, uh, 1K subs, it is a goal, and setting goals is a good thing to do. But, you know, to reach those goals, you got to be dedicated to what you do. Uh, another thing, Xbox, like, uh, you guys know me. A lot of you know me as a sniper, stuff like that. I like to use my sniper rifle uh, in Call of Duty. And, you know, I didn't just pick up a sniper and become naturally good at it. It took a long time. It took a long-ass time. And I didn't learn the way most people learn to quick scope and do all that stuff. Like, I, I just, like, I didn't have YouTube videos, I didn't have a YouTube tutorial, how to quickscope 101, like, th that didn't exist when I learned, I learned in COD 4 World at War years where YouTube was just a website to me and nothing else. So pretty much what that means is that, you know, I, the way I actually learned to quickscope was that I would hardscope and it just, my shots just became faster and faster until it actually formed into a quickscope. And once MW3, or MW2 came around, I full on grasped grasped the quick scoping community method thing I don't know but you guys get what I mean it took dedication it took me a while it's not something that I just came up on um same with basketball I've been playing basketball my whole life uh, I didn't get to where I am in basketball right now from just slacking off and not doing anything it doesn't work like that like you have to be dedicated you have to be committed to what you're doing otherwise you're just going to get screwed over in anything you do in life like I don't want to sound like a downer right there but you know, it really is true. Like, you can't just expect to be good at something without putting a little bit of commitment and dedication to it. So, I, I kind of hope you guys understand that. I don't know how much sense that made. I don't know. 
I don't know how bad my voice sounds right now. Uh, I'm actually gonna take a sip of my drink, so give me a sec. Alright. God, dude, my fucking throat is killing me here. So, anyways, just to kind of sum up the video, you know, anything you do in life, it's gonna take dedication. So, if you find yourself in a situation where you're kind of, you wanna get good at something, but you don't really wanna put the commitment and dedication towards it, um, I, one thing I would say is get out, find a new thing, find something that you're actually going to put like dedication towards or dedicate yourself towards it. Like it's never too late to start dedicating yourself towards it. Um, but you know, it's not going to happen unless you actually go for it and just, you know, kind of go all out on it. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of trying to think of an example to put a, like, to kind of like wrap your heads around that, but I can't really think of it. Ugh. So, I, I don't know. I guess I'll just end up saying, end up wrapping it up by saying that uh, I'm dedicated here. I'm not leaving YouTube anytime soon. Like, don't. I don't want you guys to worry about that. And I've actually had this topic written down on my commentary list for a while, and I'm not exactly sure how it was written down. But, you know, I think uh, it came from a time where I was kind of pissed off at YouTube thinking about, like, just quitting or I've actually had times in YouTube where I thought about like hacking my subs or something so I could get a bunch of subs and stuff and I actually have friends that do that um and in all honesty it doesn't work like you get sub box from like sniper leaderboard which uh my friend did and it got him 1k subs but he uploads a video and it gets 20 views and he starts crying about it well it's like what do you expect you all your subs don't know you like you you can't possibly think that you were gonna get a million views on that uh, and you know people like that they're just not dedicated so I hope you guys take away something important from this commentary um, I don't really know if it helped you or not but if it did help you leave a comment and like on this video because it does help me out a lot I love reading your comments and replying to them uh, if it didn't help you you know I wouldn't I wouldn't want you to dislike the video but I understand if you do but still like the video if you want to help me out anyways this has been I'm not magic and I feel like shit so later guys